To start with, I'm using an Arduino Uno to control the flashing LEDs. Now, I'm not going to make this an Arduino tutorial. There are plenty of tutorials on YouTube for the Arduino already. Using digital pins 1 through 12, I first set them for output in the program. But more on that later. Let's get to the circuit itself. The circuit diagram shows a single Arduino digital output. Just remember there are 11 more outputs for all 12 sets of eyes. They're all the same, so there's no need to show them all. I'm using 2N2222 NPN transistors as switches to turn on the LEDs. Since the Arduino's digital out is 5 volts and the transistor's base emitter junction drops 0.7 volts, we use 4.3 volts for our calculation. I want to keep the current at around 0.1 milliamps, so 4.3 volts over 0.1 gives a resistor value of 43k ohms. I had some 47k ohm resistors on hand. So 4.3 volts over 47K gives me a 0 0.09 milliamps to turn on the transistor, and that's fine for my purposes. For the eyes, I'm using two 20 milliamp LEDs in series. With this configuration, I only need one resistor, and the current will be the same through both LEDs. To supply power to the two LEDs in series, I'm using a 12 volt 1.6 amp supply. With two LEDs in series, the drop is 4 volts, so 12 minus 4 equals 8 volts. 8 volts over 0.02 milliamps means I would need a 400 ohm resistor, but I don't like to run LEDs at full power. I found that there is a little difference in the LED's brightness from about 75% to full power. I think 15 milliamp is adequate, so 8 volts over 15 milliamps is 533 ohms. So I'll compromise and run these LEDs with 510 ohm, 1 half watt resistors. As an added twist, I'm going to run three sets of 12 by 2 LEDs, two sets of 20 milliamp LEDs, and an extra set of 100 milliamp super bright LEDs. The bright LEDs will face the street. My front door is about 50 feet from the street, so I wanted these to stand out. For the 100 milliamp LEDs, I'll run about 0.5 milliamps at the base, which will require 4.3 volts over 0.5 milliamps, or 8.6 k-ohm resistors. For the LED side, I'll run LEDs at around 75 milliamps. 8 volts over 0 0.075 equals 106.6 ohms, so I'm running 100 ohm 1 watt resistors for these. These LEDs have 2 to 2.3 volt drops, so I'm still using the 4 volt drop for this calculation. The Arduino program starts by initializing two variables, eyes and blink. It then runs through a setup where there is 3 second delay before running a 4 next loop which sets each digital pin 1 through 12 to output, then sets the pin high. There is a 1.2 second delay between each pin being set high. The 3 second start delay and the 1.2 second delay between each set of eyes gives you an opportunity to get in front of the lights and verify they're all working. The loop portion sets eyes to a random number between 1 and 12 and blink to a random number between 150 and 950. It then turns eyes off for blink milliseconds and then turns the eyes back on. Then there is a short 300 millisecond delay to space out the blinking. The wire I'm going to use for this project is a three pair 24 gauge solid wire and I'm also going to use a short piece of 14 gauge solid household wire. Stripping the uh, 14 gauge wire is fairly easy. I'm going to measure off about six inches, mark it, and we'll strip it. And we cut the wires off. What we do now is trim the ends of the wire so we can solder the LEDs on.
Now we're ready to solder the LEDs. Okay, what I want to do is I want to line up my LEDs with the short pin to the long pin. Because we're going to bend one of each. Okay, now we can solder that onto the, uh, the wire. I have to use a little help here. I run out of fingers real quick. There, there's our eyes. Now we just have to wire it up. The reason I like this 24 gauge wire is it's in a spool. It's easy to dispense. I just put it on the porch and drag it out to where I need it, uh, cut it, and that's it. And I bring it back into the shop and work on it. When I get it into the shop, I take one end and I strip about two foot off. And that gives me enough room to spread the eyes out. Okay, you didn't see what I was doing outside, but as I was cutting these wires, I was also marking them because they're all different lengths. So what I like to do is uh, number them from the longest to the shortest. I'll run the longest one out first. Okay, here's the finished board. We've got three rows of connectors for the LEDs. We've got 12 signal lines from the Arduino, ground for the Arduino, and 12 volts. Didn't really plan this out, I just kind of made it up as I went along, but um, what I used was the ground wire from the 14 gauge wire I used for the LEDs uh, to run the rails. Now this is the 12 volt rail here, comes across, and this is the ground rail. Now it doesn't really matter what order you hook up the uh, plugs in because it's going to be random anyway.
Okay. All right. Let's hook up some power again. Be my 12 volt. Now to run them outside. My apologies for the lack of detail in the assembly of part of the video. I was pressed for time when I was putting it together and didn't get to record everything. Also, I'm sorry for the graininess of the video. My camera doesn't do dark too well. At least you can get an idea of what the lights would look like. Next time I have a Halloween setup going, I'll get some better shots of it. Thanks for watching.